morning, Abotai. With regards to Lila Seder, the Poskim say that everything regarding the Seder has to be like royalty. The uh, Baalabait and his wife should be like king and queen. The people at the Seder should be like princes and princesses. Everything should be mamash like royalty. That's why a person has to wear his best clothes. That's why a person has to uh, preferably put out the nicest dishes. And uh, many, many communities have a minhag to put out nice jewelry on the table. The Rashbetz even brings down to put nice smelling besamim and other things to, to make it mamash a royal experience. A lot of people ask, what about disposable dishes? Disposable dishes and forks and knives. Uh, a lot of people think, at first glance, that, hey, that's not so fancy, right? That's not royalty. But I've heard from my Rebbein many times as follows. If, when you do, when, when a person puts out the fancy china and stuff like that and the silverware, if he's going to make his wife do all of the dishes afterwards, then that's not considered royalty. That's considered just chav uh, It's making somebody else work hard. If the husband, he says, you know, I want fancy dishes and I'll do all the dishes afterwards, that's okay, that's excellent. Especially when the seder is done at one or two in the morning, now you think the wife is going to start washing dishes at that time. If she doesn't care, excellent. If he says he's going to do the dishes, also excellent. But if he doesn't want to do the dishes, and either the she at two in the morning, so over there the royal dishes become the disposable ones. That becomes royalty, right? That, they're also, they make nice ones over there, so that's also considered part of Oneg uh, Tov, is that. Also, this year, with regards to Lel Shabbat, the Lel HaSeder falls out on Lel Shabbat, the earliest time to start the Seder any year, you can't start the Seder, which starts with Kiddush and the first cup, before Tzedek Kohavim, which is Laila Vadai. Comes out this year for Sfaradim in the New York area, is about 8 o'clock. About 8 p.m. is Tzedek Kohavim. So that's when you can start the Kiddush. Now, this year, that, well, when uh, Lel Pesach falls out on Shabbat, the halacha is that on Lel HaSeder, you got to move everything quickly so that the children don't fall asleep. We do all sorts of things during the Seder, to make sure that the kids stay up. Therefore, the poskim say, on a year like this, there's no shalom aleichem, no eshet chayim. You come home straight, hopefully, like the poskim say, Shulchan Aruch says even, to set the table before, when it's still daytime outside. So when you come home from shul, immediately you start the kiddush, no shalom aleichem, no eshet chayim, so as not to unnecessarily schlep. Anyways, you don't need the malachim this night, it's lev shimurim. Protecting you. So, huh? the minhag is not to say Shalom Aleichem and Eshet Chayim Belel Pesach Shechal Nihiyot B'Shabbat. That's why if you look in any Haggadah Shel Pesach, right, many times, a little Pesach falls out on Shabbat. Not one Haggadah Shel Pesach prints Shalom Aleichem and Eshet Chayim. Why? Because not the minhag. We don't do it. So that's with regards to that. Yom Tov. Atzlachar Abba.